very disappointed. Um, don't think it's a good turn for the country. Surprise it, um, Chief Justice Roberts. Um, it, it's an abomination, and I'm really hoping that when Romney gets elected, he um, does what he says he's going to do and, and re tries to repeal it. I have been coming to these events, and I, I'm. That's not enough. Well, my initial reaction is a big disaster. But the nice part about it now is Obama's going to have to defend all his tax increases because there are 24 tax increases in this health care bill that nobody seems to be paying any attention to. But there's massive tax increases. It's going to take away the, the uh, Medicare for a whole bunch of people. There's already about 25% of doctors that have said they're going to leave and within a year because they don't want to deal with all the bureaucrats and bureaucracy that's going on with the new health care bill. So it's extremely bad. The health care bill is a disaster, but the, the ruling may actually be a favor because it may bring people to help defeat the... Very, very disappointed. We're going to do everything we can to see that it's overturned, that we... Uh, repeal Obamacare. I'm extremely disappointed that they are not abiding by the Constitution, that they changed the whole complex of uh, what the issue is about. What is? What do you think of the idea that this is a taxing power of Congress to require, if you don't buy the man, if you don't follow the mandate? I think it's an outrage because then the Congress can tax us on anything they wish now. Anything they want us to do, any way they want to um, try and uh, mold our behavior in anything they want to do. They can just tax us and then do whatever they want to the public, which is an outrage. It's motivated me to be even more um, active as far as the protesting what uh, the unconstitutionality of what uh, Congress has been doing to us. And uh, they're actually stealing our freedoms. This means that there's going to be less choices for me it's going to mean less coverage for me in particular, and for most Americans. What it means to a young person is even more outrageous. They're the ones that are going to be penalized with this, what, 65 billion or so uh, penalty, which is now not a penalty anymore, now it's a tax. Those are the people that's going to be paying for it. I already had health insurance. When I turned 65, they put me on Medicare. My Medicare is going to be cut. They'll be um, rationing what I'll get possibly in the future. You know, what if I get really sick one day and, I, and I'm 70, 72 years old? Um, I have to put my health care and what my doctor wants to treat me with in the hands of some bureaucrats in Washington. And that's just not right. I think it's just totally unjust for the American people. Uh, the whole Obamacare, or the pretty much the president's health care, should be appealed and should have been repealed. And I think this is going to go on ahead. It's going to hurt our economy, and it's going to go on and put a lot of restraints, and it's go it's going to hurt the American people. Basically, I'm telling Americans it's time Americans step up and we take care and take America back. What is your reaction to the Supreme Court Obamacare ruling? It was gut wrenching. I'm worried about uh, losing the freedoms that we've grown up with. I was at first kind of in disbelief because we were led to believe that it was going to be unconstitutional. And then when we find out that the Chief Justice and, and how he wrote that said it is constitutional if we call the mandate, not a mandate, but make this a tax. I just thought, really? And then I thought, okay, so I get on Facebook and I just try to read what's going on because, you know, you don't want to jump to conclusions. Right away people were blasting. Yeah, but do you think that and then you, think you start reading things say. that hmm, think maybe can, it was for a good reason. If anything, it's good that we're, people are here and they're ready to really get busy in these last 130 days before the election as far as to overturn Obamacare. A lot of people don't realize it's a large tax on the middle class and, uh, and the penalties that are included with it are detrimental to um, income and the middle pass. I was pretty shocked. Uh, never before in American history have I seen you get taxed on something you haven't engaged in. Hopefully it'll really make people upset and they'll come out and vote in droves to restore some semblance of common sense to our government. I was really surprised. Um, it, it was five to four, not the five to four we were expecting. And uh, I, I think Roberts was maybe trying to fit in, I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. But uh, 
I can't see how it's a tax when the government, the whole case behind it was it's, it's not going to be a tax. They, they completely stated over and over, it's not a tax, it's not a tax. And then the Supreme Court rewrites the law. That's judicial activism. They're supposed to decide on the law that's written, not rewrite it for them. So I'm, I'm very disappointed. I just, I just hope that people are motivated by the last four years and uh, the next four years more um, for freedom and personal responsibility and the future of children and grandchildren. Actually, I wasn't that surprised. It's not the first time that the government has controlled our action through taxes. Um, you know, they control whether we get married or not, by whether you get a deduction or not. They control so much of our lives through taxes that, you know, that's the mechanism they used. And so the only way this would have gone through is if they would have called it a tax. The problem is, is that when they were pushing it and they were selling it to the public, they said it wasn't a tax. And, but at the same time, I remember some of the Democrats saying, well, it's legal because it's a tax. So they knew it was a tax, but they didn't write it as a tax and they didn't sell it as a tax. So it's really frustrating that they try to mislead the public on purpose. And that's what really makes me mad. Folks, it's really clear that American people do not want to get taxed anymore. And that's why they sold it the way they sold it.